What's up guys? Welcome to another Blender Quick Tip. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mirror an object using Blender's mirror modifier. I'm going to be going through the modifier settings for you and I'm going to be showing you a few techniques you can use and different practices. So just to start things off, we're going to be working with this model. As you can see it's Rick from Rick and Morty. Uh, you, can, uh, you can just download this model for free at Sketchfab. So if you just go to Google, type in Sketchfab, I'm not affiliated with this website in any way. I just think it's a really good website for finding free assets. Um, some of them you have to pay for, but there's a lot of good free assets there. Uh, just search Rick, or just use whatever you want. There's plenty of stuff there to work with, just for this tutorial. And thank you to whoever made this model, by the way. Uh, I can't remember <laughs> exactly where I found it. But yeah, if you do find this video, feel free to uh, comment and I'll leave you credit where due. Right, to start things off, we've got our model here. If you just click on the object and just come to your modifier settings, which is just this spanner here, we're just going to delete that for now because we don't need that. And just add a modifier and we'll add a mirror modifier. And as you can see, you've already got the x axis ticked, so it's very subtle, but you can see it's it's sort of mirrored the x axis there. So if you uncheck that, you'll see a slight change. So these checkboxes, they're quite self explanatory. It's just which axis you are going to mirror the object off. So for example, x, you'll see there, y, you'll see we get this sort of weird thing and then Z it's going to mirror on the bottom as well so it, it's automatically intersecting um, so the mesh is sort of going through each other if you click bisect that will um, essentially it, the, the mesh will cut off at where, where it collides with the mirror so it's just down to preference but generally I would select bisect and then if you click flip it's pretty self-explanatory it's just going to flip uh, the direction of the mirror so as you can see you can see his face when you flip on the Y and you can see his back when you unflip same with the Z now one thing to note is the mirror modifier it mirrors from the origin point of the object so as you can see when I flipped it on the Z there's a see this little orange dot here it's right where the feet are if I unflip it and if I just mirror on the Z you can see the mirror starts from that origin point now if you want to change that, you just need to select your object, go to object here, and you can set origin, and you can set it to wherever you want. Uh, if you set it to origin to geometry, it's going to it's gonna find the um, sort of center of mass of the geometry, and it will set the origin point there. So we'll do that, and as you can see, now it's mirroring from his torso. Now a handy thing with the uh, to do with the mirror modifier, let's say we want to edit the topology of Rick. So we'll go into edit mode and we'll just zoom into his face. It's quite handy to use this to get perfect symmetry when you're editing topology of faces. If I unselect these, without the mirror modifier, let's say I wanted to make some adjustments to, I don't know, his eyes. I wanted to just grab them out. If you're making these edits to a face, ideally you, wanna, you want it to be symmetrical. So you can actually just select X axis on the mirror modifier. Do the same again. You're getting a symmetrical edit of the face now. It's uh, it's quite a handy trick if you just want to do some quick edits on the topology. Now let's say you want to mirror the object from a set point in your viewport. You can actually do that and you can see over here in your mirror modifier you've actually got a little um, box for that. So all you need to do is create an object for it to mirror off of and we're going to use an empty for that. So if you hit shift A, add an empty and we'll add a plane axis we've got this little thing here now we'll hit GY let's bring it out here now if you go back to your object and to your modifier just select mirror object and select that empty you just created just uh, select the axis that you're mirroring from and there you go now the mirror point is set to where the empty is and if you want to just bring that in you can do that like this right thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the quick tip on the mirror modifier uh, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps me grow the channel. And feel free to check out my website where you can find more of my work. That's nebmotion.co.uk.